Hello, my hearties. A very, very good morning to you from the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. It's Scotty McClure saying thank you do to every single one of you. Come and join us, of course, because we've got so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. And the time just flies on these lives. Absolutely incredible. Thank you for your wonderful, wonderful support. Really can't believe it. Just fantastic the way you've all got round Scotty McClure here. And and come and supported us and joined in the chats. I mean, the streams are amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. And welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Monday morning and the time's just coming up to about 20 minutes past 11 o'clock in the morning. So uh, what time it will be with you? If you're in America, then you should actually be sound asleep. Uh, or perhaps uh, getting up very, very early. If you're in the UK, then, of course, you'll be doing all sorts of things. You'll be at the high dusting and the hoovering, some of you working from home, some of you out to work, all that kind of thing. And I thought we'll just have a nice, relaxed chat and see what is what. Now, I'm very, very interested. Here we go here. Here's all our comments. Kareem, Scotty, are you well? How are you today? I am Dinky Do Kareem. Some very, very interesting things are happening in the world of McClue. And we're also um, thinking about multi-streaming on different platforms. So uh, get yourselves having a look out for Scotty McClue and come and join us. That's what it's about. I hope you're well, Kareem, and you're getting a, a very well-deserved and well-earned break. That's what I say. Dinky do. Hello. Hello, hit song. How good to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Get following, guys. What we need to do is really have a massive, massive follow. Yes, and, uh, and make sure that you're part of Scotty McClue because this is very, very big. Hashtag Floatie, First Lord of the Internet. The wonderful Maria Knight has joined us and sent me me Ten beautiful lollipops. Maria, you are such a princess. Maria, keep a look out for the social media with Scotty McClue because, um, you know, we're starting to diversify. That sort of idea. Dinky Doo, hello. Hello, hit songs. And a big Dinky Doo to you. Good to have you with us. Thank you so much, Kiki, for following. Lovely to have you with us. Good morning from the West Midlands. The West Midlands, football's coming home, says Chelsea. Oh, Chelsea, I couldn't possibly comment. You might think that. So can you all get following and sharing? I know it's a bit bland and a bit normal and all that sort of stuff. But if we can do that, then we can build our community. And then if I diversify, you're all coming with me. Yes, are we getting the point? Uh, wonderful stuff. And did you do? Because, you know, the, the, these lives will have a shelf life. People will say, ah, oh, I've heard Scotty, and all he does is talk to people. Yeah, and a lot of younger people want really fast-moving action videos. Well, you'll see me dancing the other night. If you look at the TikTok videos, have you seen the party bar? Very much um, a component of Scottish country dance. So have a look at that, I say. Scotty, my main man, how have you been, Graham? We are tremendous. This is fabulous. Ten beautiful lollipops. Are you friends with Billy Connolly? I don't actually know Billy personally. One of the great regrets in my life. I did manage to outsell him in videos once about 25 years ago. But uh, I am a fabulous, fabulous fan of Billy Connolly. The man is a walking genius. It's as simple as that. So there you go. And I send him love. I know he's not keeping terribly well these days, but, you know, he has done so much for the world of entertainment and the world of comedy, him and Pamela. So there you are, wonderful people with the right sense of values. That's what I would say about Billy Connolly. There we go. Um, a lot of people complain about the swearing, but that's part of his act. And some people say to me, why do you not swear in your act? And I think, because I don't have to. <laughs> so there we go. So D, that's where that one comes from. Happy birthday to me, says ARX. Dinky do. Uh, do you think Scotland will win football in Euro? Paul, what sort of planet are you phoning from? 
<laughs> Fantastic. Hello, Scotty. La Herb, good morning. Lovely to have you with us, sir. From Ireland, I say to you now there. Uh, happy birthday to me. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. Marvel. Happy birthday to Marvel. There we are. Oh, Marvel saying happy birthday to ARX. Scotty, can you use the word ethos in a sentence? The ethos in a sentence. I think I probably can, yes. I feel that when Scotty McClue comes on to TikTok, there is just a different ethos about the lives. You know, he creates an ambiance, second to none. What about something like that? Do you like that one? Is that any good? Ah, fantastic. ERX, that's enough now. You're spamming us. Uh, Billy and Kevin, Dinky Do, Billy Conley, and Kevin Bridges. Absolutely. Hail, hail. How are you, Scotty? Well, Dinky Do, Robert. Yes, indeed. Dinky Do, Scotty. I'm in holiday in Aberdeenshire. Sparkles. Fat like up there. The weather will be lovely, and you'll hear some beautiful greenery around the north east. Eh? Fantastic. Fit like. Have you had a softie this morning or some batteries? Have you had rowies? There we are. Good morning, Scotty. 6 a.m. here in New York City. Early bird catching the worm. Liam, I was just saying America would be asleep. Liam, while you're on, are you a Donald J. Trump fan? And do you think Donald is coming back? Do you believe in God? Very, very much, Debel. Absolutely, without doubt. And I'm not just come some kind of soft subservient servant. You know what I mean? I am a servant of God. Your master proclaim and publish abroad his wonderful name. The name of victorious of Jesus extol. His kingdom is glorious and rules over all. Yes, he's fantastic. So yes, I mean, good orderly discipline. Good must triumph over evil. Have you ever seen amazing street performers at the Edinburgh Fringe? D. I've seen amazing street performers at the Edinburgh Fringe. And uh, I've been invited so many times to do a show at the Edinburgh Fringe, but it clashes with something else I do in summertime. Do you see what I mean? That's the thing. Um, I'm good, Scotty. How are you, big man? Lahoub, we are fabulous. Are you still getting the history down you? You will never, ever, ever know everything. It's very, very complex. Absolutely. Question, why do you go on TikToks? So there we are. Uh, not aims to hurt. Kiki, um, you'll never ever hurt asking something like that. I went on TikTok because it was open and because people were interested. You weren't held back as you are on other platforms. Do you see what I mean? It's open. And the reason I went on TikTok was just mainstream media, of which I've been a part for 40 years, you know, was just not serving you properly. Do you see? There was nothing on it. It's wallpaper. The news is so depressing. It's all about the same thing. It's filled from toe to top of their head with the pandemic and how and, and every day that's passing away and all that sort of thing. And I thought, have we completely lost our ability to laugh, to have joy, to have fun, to talk to each other? And the answer is, you know, we have to be careful we don't. That's why you have so many people encountering mental illness, because they can't just have a normal chat. So I thought, right, Scotty McClue, do as much as you can. Get yourself on TikTok and say hi to the people. And that's all this thread is. So, you know, it won't last forever. You know, people won't always follow forever because not everybody's just into having a chat. But that's what we're doing. So the, does that answer the question, Kiki? Did you do what's your feelings on no mask next week? Well, I would think we need to keep up the social distancing. You know, I mean, there's been a lot of discussion about are masks effective? Are they good for us? Think about it. If you're wearing a mask, you're cutting off, cutting down on your oxygen. Also, there may be particles from masks in terms of wool or material that could get into the lung, you know, that sort of idea. So there are, I mean, how protective are they? Can stuff get in the side? But I mean, they might stop a sort of airborne globular attack on you from somebody with 
COVID that may be asymptomatic. So from that point of view, you know, there's pros and cons for the masks, like there's pros and cons for everything. I tend to wear my mask when I'm around others uh, in, uh, in a close proximity, but up the social distancing, outside, what have you, all that sort of thing. Yes, but do give us your opinion on that. You know, should we cut down on the mask wearing or should we up it or keep it or whatever? I think as far as I can uh, ascertain from the Scottish government, they're keeping it pro tem, pro tempore. Dinky do, dinky do, lovely to have you with us, Johnny. Uh, Sparkles, I've got family in Cove B. I love Aberdeen. We say I used to work for Grampian Television. So every day in Aberdeen shall know as me. The media made Trump out to be a lot worse than he actually was, in my opinion. Lahoub, I think that's a very, very fair point. The media, mainstream media, had turned on him. But as far as I can see, Trump, uh, you know, is a bit of a truth guy. And uh, the truth's never, ever popular. Let's have it straight, you know. I've been telling the truth about Scotland needing to hang on to the monarchy like anything, uh, if they're even being serious about Scottish independence. Oh, the peasants revolting. You ain't seen nothing. So there you go. McClure is public enemy, number one. Uh, Scotty, I was wondering if your live video was filmed in Cumbernauld. I recognise the stage. It was Cumbernauld Theatre. You're absolutely right. Yes, wonderful. A John Williams production. I meant Scotty autocorrect. Uh, S-C-O-T-T-I-E it is, not Y. Well, there's a chance he'll be back. He's a popular candidate with many Republicans. Liam, do you think so? Yes. Does everybody think the Donald will come back? Is everybody missing the Donald? Lahoop says, very complex indeed, sir, but I'm going to keep on learning as much as I possibly can. Lahoop, become the same as Scotty McClue, a lifelong learner. Guys, can you all follow me? I am so short from followers, and I don't understand it. I think it's just laziness. You know, we're way over the 600,000 viewers and about 16,000 followers. You know, come on. You know, let's get sorted here. Uh, but me, myself, I wouldn't mind him coming. I know there's also some against him. Yeah, but why are they against him, Liam, you see? I mean, the mainstream media tends to drip, 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 drip. Somebody's a baddie, and then people start believing it. Are Ouija boards dangerous? I would say so. I would say any meddling in an amateur way is dangerous. I don't think there's any doubt about that. You know, I would definitely say so. Good morning from California. We love you in California. Dinky do. I'm coming to see you all. Um, yes, spot on, Scotty uh, has said, yes, spot on. Scotty said nobody likes to hear the truth anymore. Well, no, they don't because the truth is pretty bleak. And I can remember somebody saying to me, a very senior person, Scotty, if you knew everything that was going on in the world, you would be very disappointed. So I said to him in my typical knowledge-grabbing way, well, don't tell me. <laughs> So I don't want to be disappointed. Good morning from California. Dink you do. Trump before Biden. Do you think so, Alan? I mean, you know, you are in the know there. So do tell us more. Guys, we're talking about should Donald Trump come back? Uh, hello from Inverschnecki again. Alison, we love you in Inverness. And I might come up. And we'll take, we can go into the tune and maybe take up uh, into the town. And maybe take a walk over the bridge at the Nith, at the um, at the Nets. I nearly said the Nith, I'm freeze. Over the bridge at the Nets. That's it. You Christians, sir. Well, I'm universal. So I embrace all of the world's great religions. You will never, ever, ever hear me, uh, you know, in any way denigrate the road to God. Yes, how does that answer your question, Afshin? Uh, where are you from, uh, Philippe? Uh, I am from, are you from France? Uh, uh, you know, I've seen you, no, 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 Ben, 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 you need to stop this. I'm not going to ban you, but Ben Jackson, you need to stop trolling. Right? You didn't see me in a superstore. You didn't see me buying anything. Okay? 
It's not how I shop. So you need to stop this because we're not having any trolls. Do you understand? All right, nobody on the internet ever trolls Scotty McClue. If you want to be part of our live, brilliant, welcome. But see silly nonsense like that? No interest to the people. We are talking serious stuff here. All right, fantastic. How are you doing, Scotty from Inverness? Didn't you do a city, you know? Honestly, old man, put your phone down. Honestly, do do rado, you can do 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 one. That's what I say to you, old man. People like you just need to push off. Ouija boards are very dangerous, very dangerous, says Alan. Dink you do, Alan. Oh, aye, says Alison. Do you know Fort William? Do you like it? I love Fort William. Yes, I adore it. You know, uh, some people feel far away in Fort William, but far away from where, I would say. That's the old problem. How far away are you from anything, you know? It's my 22nd birthday today, and I love a, a, a walk up Nevis, you know? I walk the first bit. When it comes to the climbing, I just go back. I used to take old Lord Reith the Labrador up Ben Nevis. Fantastic. Uh, it's my 22nd birthday today. Um, ah, happy birthday to you, Jacob or Jacob depending on how you would like to be called. Do tell us. Uh, you see, Fort William, there was a company called David McBrain Limited. And David McBrain uh, brackets 1928, close brackets, Limited, because they reformed the company. It went way back to the 1860s, 1870s with David Hutchison, who I think was a, an uncle of David McBrain. Anyway, McBrain's had boats, and buses, and they had the contract for the Royal Mail Service. So you had these amazing boats, steamships, turbine steamships, paddle steamers, motor vessels, all these integrated transport throughout Scotland. And although I think that, you know, the Scottish government have done a wonderful job in the last 20 years, we need to look at integrated transport and nice cheap transport for people traveling round Scotland, round the west of Scotland, McBreen's. Look it up. Fantastic. So that's what I think. And they used to, there was a lovely old motor vessel called the RMS Loch Fine, and she used to go into Fort William from Oban. What about stuff like that? Hello, I'm Dan from the Philippines. How have you been? Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Dan, we love you. Thoughts on William the Conqueror? Well, he was a tough guy. You see, this is why there's no such thing as being English, right? You can't be English because the English are basically Norman. They're French. That's why they don't get on with France. Yes, sir, I can boogie. Congratulations, you're on my for you again. How are you? Red Bull, I'm actually needing more followers. So if anybody's watching right now and just haven't followed, please get following because this is very, very big. Yeah, and I mean, it won't last forever, but there's been a lot of love and a lot of joy over these lives. And I would quite like to keep them going for a little bit longer. That's my thinking. So get sharing, get following. Yeah, stop trolling, man. There you go. Absolutely. We will stop the trolls on here. Tremendous stuff. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. So there we are. Uh, trolls are not very casual. No, trolls are just idiots or people who are not mature enough to handle the stream. That's how it goes. Scotty, what's this nonsense? You're joining Trump's right-wing conservative media group. Steve Goldie, I'm just interested. As you know, I'm apolitical. But I like to get uh, find out what's actually going on there. So there's nothing right-wing conservative or left-wing commie about Scotty McClure. I am straight doing the middle. But I think we'll get on there and have a look. So, you know, I've joined uh, Getter. G-E-T-T-R, and uh, also I've uh, gone on to Rumble as well, and we'll have a good look about all that. So, you know, come and follow me, join in. If you have any disagreement with Scotty McClue, we talk. We talk, we get her out there. Do you see what I mean? I'm only interested in the truth. Now, that's not popular these days. Are you with me? 
People aren't interested in a mishmash, a confusion. Uh, what's happening here? I don't know. All that kind of uh, divide and rule. All that kind of old-fashioned nonsense. What does Dinky Do mean? And did you used to be on the TV? I was on the TV, the radio, the newspapers, online. Uh, 29 years of Scotty McClue's radio show last week. How amazing is that? Dinky Do. Lovely to have you all with us. Follow us as you can. Stop people. Thank you. Um, that's uh, what it is. Thank you very much. How many in are we? Spencer, how many in? Of 600,000 have watched me in the last six weeks since we started doing these lives. That's pretty good, isn't it? But we need to keep the momentum up because otherwise people go, nah, he just, he just talks to people. You see what I mean? Opinion on Brexit, the biggest act of self-harm since the First World War. There we are. Look at Scottish fisheries now. How well are they doing? Do you know the Bridge of Oich? I don't know the Bridge of Oich, D. Do you mean the Bridge of Orche? Scotty, I got some bad news today. Could you tell me a joke to make me feel better? Kyle, of course I can tell you something to make you feel better. Yes, I was standing at the station the other day and I bust into tears and a transport policeman said I could arrest you. I said, what for? For crying out loud. See what I just did there? Fantastic. A guy was in court for thinking it was a firework, but the judge let him off. See what I just did there? Follow us as soon as you can, guys. We're very short of followers. Uh, there we are. Nice to stop. They're on the way, nice to stop there on the way to Arasig. Absolutely, Alan Mitchell. Alan Mitchell, have you a look to any of Scotty McClue's TikTok videos? We need people to go on there and like them, right? So have a look at that, Scotty McClue's TikTok videos, and on it you'll see one talking about Crean Larich. It's only about, I think it's about 15 seconds long. So even you must be able to spare that for Scotty McClue. 15 seconds, guys. Fantastic. Return of the King. Do you think so, Matt? Absolutely. Do you think Donald Trump is the king? You know what I mean? It's very, very interesting. He's very popular. You know, fantastic. You lost me a bit ago, Spencer. Lost you with what? There we are. Come back if we've lost you. Is it too much? Uh, to us chat, I love your accent. Please say braai, a braai as in South Africa, for cooking a steak and an egg on the braai. Scotty, could Brexit end up being a blessing in disguise for United Irelanders? Uh, well, let's be honest about it. You know, the, the, the British government have thrown the North under a bus. There's no doubt about that on a kind of sink or swim basis. I mean, the money will still be going to the North, but it's causing friction between uh, the North and the South, isn't it? So that, not that they needed any friction, but, you know, people might start to say, do you know what? We really belong in Europe because Northern Ireland voted to remain, didn't they? We, we belong in Europe, so we'll just join up with the South. But can you have two governments? You know, would the South want to be run from Belfast? Or would Belfast be happy to be run from Dublin? You know, we need to talk about all these things in a sensible way. So, I mean, it might not be a blessing to reunify Ireland. Do you see what I mean? You're talking about our country, but you've got your country. You've had your country for 99 years. You know, Scotty, I missed the lives over the weekend. Oh, Maria Knight, I know my darling. Maria, I think about you. And when I think, do I you know, go on another platform? Do we keep the lives going? Because they've now been going for, what, six, seven weeks, maybe more, maybe two months of lives. And you, of course, have been the absolute rock. And you, your support, your financial support, all just all the lovely things you've said and done. You know, I mean, second to none. And I don't want you to not be part of a Scotty McClue live. Um, not from a financial point of view, I hasten to add, but from the point of view that you are you. Now, you know what I mean by that, Maria, because you and I straight talk. Although we've never had an actual one-to-one -one conversation, we, we talk all the time to each other. And I thank you. And we straight talk. So 
you know, I mean, I think we'll just go with the flow because there's very, very big things happening in the land of McClure. And by being apolitical over the years, I have probably lost a lot of very, um, you know, high profile work because people say, well, we don't know his politics. He's, he's just neutral. It's just nothing. And of course, as you know, Scotty McClure is huge and the people adore Scotty McClure. It's no secret throughout the world. I mean, otherwise I wouldn't have survived 29 years of all the love and laughter and controversy and discussion and debate and chat and talk and comfort to people and irritation to others. You know, all that sort of fun that we've had. Kenyan greetings, Orchel and Jambo. Jambo, lovely to have you from Kenya. We send love to you in Kenya, to Nairobi. We send love to uh, to uh, Mombasa. We send love to Kilimanjaro. We send love to Mount Kenya. We send love to the Kikuyu. We send love to the Maasai. Uh, we send love right across East Africa. Woo! Jumbo, jumbo, Uncle Alan. There we are. Dinky do greetings. It's coming home. The whole U.S. is on fire. Now, is the U.S. on fire in a good way or is it burning? That's what we need to know. Are you missing Donald J. Trump? That's what we need to find out. And that's why I'm also broadening my horizons. I'm not doing anything political because it's not my scene, but I want to be there as a commentator for everyone. I want to be there as the truth comes out because all my life I have been a huge advocate of the truth, you know, and it's just the way I was brought up. Fantastic. That's what it's all about, I say. Who have we got here? Please draw us a crocodile. No, I'll do you a crocodile. Are you ready? How was my crocodile impersonation? Was it any good? It's coming home. They're all going to have missed all these lives. Fantastic. Scotty, where have you been for so long? Geodog, how lovely to have you with us. Also, can you say uh, a Chinese meal? Smile hate. What are you at? Oh, Helen, thank you, do. Yes. There we are. Kevin, lovely to have you with us. Oh, Helen's in touch with everybody. Did you know that the Native Americans gave money to Ireland in the famine? I did, Sean. I know all these things. I said to a, a lady, I could teach her to speak North American Native Indian in three weeks. And she said to me, how? I said, see, you're picking it up already. Woo! Have you all followed me, guys? Have you gone on to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel? There we are. Have you gone on to Getter, capitals, right uppercase, G-E-T-T-R? There we are, Get Truth. It's a new platform. Fantastic. Uh, that's what we want. Have you gone on to Rumble? Scott McClure is now on Rumble. I love your accent, my lovely friend. I thank you so much, Chase. What a beautiful thing to say. I don't know it's actually an accent. I think it might be um, just the way I speak. Guys, is there enough light? Because this is natural light coming in a window beside me. You know, how amazing is that? Fantastic. So uh, the question I'm asking today of my fellow Americans, who should be getting up round about now. Come on, wakey, wakey, sleepy boys and girls. That's it. Yeah, it's time you were listening to Scotty McClure. Fantastic. So I do want to know, maybe I should do, maybe I should try and do a live in an American accent. Yes, but I don't know if it'd be any good. You'd have to tell me. Fantastic. Float Eye has made Getter better. MSN, absolutely. I am loving the expansion. It's tremendous. How do you know there are real humans watching your live? We could all be robots from the future. Well, D, what's the problem? 
if you are robots from the future watching Scotty McClure's live, and there will be all sorts of things watching this live, algorithms, yes, everyone on TikTok, you know, people, but at the end of the day, people are people. I don't care how many robots are watching. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't care how many aliens are watching, as long as beautiful people are watching. So you look at the problems I've had in TikTok. Zero. Zero problems. Yeah. I've had three or four little trolls who were either complete idiots with a tiny low, 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 low IQ, or they just aren't mature enough to handle the stream. The rest of you are just beautiful people. And, you know, come with me on the journey. It's big. Something very big is happening with Scotty McClue right new. Dinky do, I say. There you are. I can't comment on the videos now. MSN, you can, you're joking. You should be able to comment in the videos. Why can you not comment? Guys, unless I've uh, clicked something, you should all be able to comment. Hello, Scotty. Good morning, you wee beauty. You always make my day. Susie, baby. And you told me I'd been with you for 25 years. Yes, you and your dad listened to the Scotty McClue show. Morning from Bomor in Isla. Good morning, Mantiach. There we are. Lovely to have you with us. Kamraha u hakama. Maha. Yes, and Falchi, Falchi, Key de Mili Falchi, Don TikTok, I guess, Scotchock McClough. Absolutely, Ali, I hope you're well. Tap your nose, tap your nose, everybody. Tap your nose, tap your nose, tap your nose, tap your nose. A Geodog, Geodog has been on every day. We have actually. Scotty Josh Boy is shouting, Dun the Swarry. That's what we do with the trolls. We send them, Dun the Swarry. Fantastic. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Have you ever been to Cork in Ireland? I love the bones of it. I stand at the old coal quay in Cork and I look out on the river there and I think, How beautiful is this? How lucky am I? The only thing is the major, uh, I would say that the major car park in the town centre, the multi-storey, it's quite tight for a big vehicle. I ran a big Jeep at the time and it was quite tight coming out the car park. But I said to the lady that was with me, I said, we'll need to go or we'll get caught in the rush hour. Now, we didn't get caught in the rush hour because I think in Cork, nobody rushes. <laughs> How amazing is that? Thanks, maybe I just missed this beloved person. Geodog, you are a beloved person in beloved South Africa. And you're training and teaching me how to bray. And you're training and teaching me all sorts of things. You are a great man. So there we are. Notifications on. Yeah, get your notifications on, guys. Uh, there's a guy here. This is funny, guys. Marty says, is this a gay pride chat? It looks like it. Marty, would you like to provide your line for that thinking? What part of it looks like it? This will be interesting, guys. The loyalists in the North feel betrayed, but we're still totally against a united Ireland. Uh, Prince Charles, in I think it was 1968 or 69, just before the Troubles, went to see his Uncle David. Yes, his great-uncle David. No, his Uncle David. No, his great-uncle David. Edward VIII that abdicated the Duke of Windsor, who was uh, living in the Bois de Boulogne in Paris. And uh, Prince Charles went to see him as Prince of Wales to the last Prince of Wales. And um, even then, Uncle David at that late stage, who would have actually made a wonderful king as well. He was a very, very popular Prince of Wales. And um, he said, just beware the hardened Ulstermen, you know, because uh, it's very difficult to negotiate with them. And that was true up until the peace uh, process, you know what I mean? 
and uh, and the agreement. So come on, Marty, put your money where your gob is, and uh, ask us if you why you said that. Disco Pete has sent ten TikToks. You're a lovely man, Disco Pete. We thank you. I'll have a look at that new platform later, Scotty. Do Maria, yes. Uh, so there we are. It's uh, I think I would imagine it's Get Truth. G E T T R is one, and uh, the other one, of course, is Rumble. Hello, sir. Where are you from, Juvaco? I am from the universe. <laughs> Hello from Belgium, Belgique. We love to have you with us. From Belgico Stend Bruxelles. Lovely to have you with us away. Uh, hello from Belgium. Good eye, Scotty. Scotland, I think. Yes, it's Scotland. You're quite right. It's a giveaway, isn't it? There we are. Dinky doo. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you're well. Zippy Roo. How lovely to have you with us, Zippy Roo. Uh, motivate me to finish my homework. Chad, finish your homework. Yes, you don't want to be in the naughty step. Football's coming home, do you think so? Uh, Big Chief Running Water and his son Little Drip. Absolute cheer dog. Joss said he'd like a badge with Doon the Swanee. Doon the Swanee with the trolls. So there we are. You the lad from uh, Famous from Mems. Dan, I might be Famous from Mems. Uh, there we are. Marty's asking if this is a gay pride chat. Why are you wanting to join in, Marty? Hi from Boston, Massachusetts. So there we are. Hey, brother, can you tell my friend Lackey to get off the ice? I remember um, seeing a guy going and cutting a hole in the ice and putting his fishing rod down it. And uh, he got pulled up. And somebody said, did you get pulled up? by the game warden. He said, no, by the ice rink manager. <laughs> now I suppose you don't want them. So there we are. Fantastic. Uh, mate, we're just friends. Absolutely. What's the capital of Austria? I would have thought the capital of Austria was Vienna. Am I right? Or am I right? Maria sent me a beautiful perfume, Maria. Are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> Is it time for McClure to freshen up? Yes, in more ways than one. Dinky do, everybody. Hi, I'm watching from South Korea. We love you in South Korea. The South African braai meister. I can even braai rice. Don't braai rice. It'll go up like petrol, as a very wise man told me. Follow us, everybody. We need the followers. I think Marty has bottled it. He's gone hiding. So he should, Lahoub. I mean, if he's looking for a gay pride chat, you know, I mean, there'll be lots and lots and lots of streams. And he's never, ever banned from here because we don't judge on here. You see, that's what it's all about. Greetings from Croatia. There we are. The succinctness of this answer had not ought to dissuade one. Absolutely not. Never be dissuaded by Scotty McClue's succinctness. Yes. From believing that projects intellect or sophistication, though. Well, we are very intellectual and very sophisticated. Yes, we talk on all levels on here. There we are. Susie Babe, what a beautiful thing to do. Susie's sending me 25 red roses. Thank you, my darling. Stop! She sent 30. 31, 30, she's still going. Susie's still going from the gifts. In the absence of ideas or information, a sentence such as this, you'll always get ideas and information, but you have to listen. Yes, indeed. Serves no actual purpose. It's neither fancy nor smart. Uh, yes, that's right. Dinky do. You're now on Get Our Eye here. I am Shakaroni. Do you know it well? And I'm also on Rumble. But we're just setting up as of last night. Fantastic, because I was very interested in hearing the chat from Donald J. Trump. What an interesting man. And of course, because he's no longer the president, he's free to say anything he wants 
And uh, everybody is getting in touch with me and saying, you need to listen to Donald Trump. And as you know, I've never been political, you know. Hi from New Zealand, north of South Island. We love having you with us. Tell me history. Have you read 1984? Read it. Uh, a minute. <laughs> Hello from Ontario. We love you in Ontario. Uh, Rosie is beautiful. 50 red roses. Susie, babe, darling, I thank you. But please watch your pennies because I want you to get nice things for you and for the boys. Absolutely. So don't send any pennies. Doing the swanee. Fantastic. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. You're a wee legend. That dirty laugh makes me weak in the knees. Susie Beebe. <laughs> oh. Scotty, my man, always a pleasure to see you. Scotty, you're on the social medias now, Bonnie Lad. Yes, Shakaroni. I think it's time to grow and develop. You know, not just... Uh, on the social medias, but personally, you know, I think that's important. Can you sing a Scottish folk song? Do you, of course I can. I'll sing you a Scottish folk song. Um, Bonnie Charlie's Narawa Safely o'er the friendly main Money a heart will bracken twa should he ne'er come back again? Will ye no come back again? Will ye no come back again? But I'll lord your canna be. Will ye no come back again? How about that? Did you like that, guys? Big claps for a wee tune. Growing and adapting's part of life, Scotty. We all get wiser over the years. Shakaruni, yes, absolutely. Who we got here? Are you familiar with the life of Yukio Mishima? I think you'd find him interesting. Wow. Greetings from the Antarctic. We love you in the Antarctic. I thank you. Uh, big claps, big claps, the wee tune. I bought myself a lovely antique skin do at a flea market. It sports a lovely garnet on the heft. Skin do's. So Geodog, capital S K E A N, right? Space, capital D H U. Skin do. Black knife. The Black Knife. Oh, Scotty, tell us how you progressed in your career to where you are now. I am the boss. Just by doing a good job. I didn't have sponsors. I didn't have everyone speaking up for me. I had to prove myself at every single turn. So I'm not sort of... Um, in the bit. Do you see what I mean? And the next step is happening now. Very, very interesting. And my top jobs that I've held down, and I've held down many top jobs, and I've been remarkably powerful behind the scenes in media for almost 40 years. And that's just by telling the truth and doing a good job. Yeah? Telling the truth and doing a good job. That works for me, or it has done up till now. I've only met one bad man who took my life savings off me in a business uh, setup. And apart from that, you know, we've just pressed on because I think I've never been interested in going up all the different steps to the top. I'm only interested in climbing Jacob's ladder. <laughs> That's all I'm interested in. There we are. Fantastic. I loved it. Dinky do. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. It's got your opinions on Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill was an enigma. Um, you know, he was uh, very driven and very drawn. And um, 
but he was a man of incredible conflict within himself. You see? And I was never I never really forgave Winston Churchill for the way he handled Lord Reith. Yeah? Lord Reith had a touch of megalomania, but Lord Reith was a genius. And Churchill brought him down. Churchill's problem was he was actually quite small in his thinking because he backstabbed anybody that came close to him. Yeah, he backstabbed them. So a lot of his life was spent destroying other people's careers. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, you know, but he was a very, very good war leader. He was probably alcoholic like a lot of the aristocracy at the time, uh, you know, and uh, he crushed the appeasement movement. So you always wonder, was Hess on his way to do business with the crown? And could the Second World War have been avoided? Yeah. So there you go. So that's Churchill. Someone, some people say he was the ultimate leader. Some people say he was a puppet. Uh, when I say dinky do, you say dinky shakaroni. We do dinky do. Uh, have you looked up the Aussie media yet, Scotty? No, Alan. I'm in the process of doing so, and I need to note down because I have so much stuff in my head. I didn't get a note off you. So there we are. So there's a straight, straight not found saying, "Be careful! I'm a spy." Run, run. We don't run from spies. We talk to them. Yes, indeed. Fantastic. Uh, sorry, sorry, my bad. But now I know. Ah, Geodog, not at all. You're not bad at all. Oh, yes, silly us. Are you saying silly us or silly US? Can someone explain what the chat sign? The top left is yes, D. I put it there. I have a choice of chat, entertainment, gardening. You know, all that sort of stuff. So I just put chat. Is that wise or not? Do we chat? I don't know. Scotty, we need to get a wee roll and square sausage and a wee cup of tea. Susie, baby, we do. <laughs> Fantastic. Scotty, have you watched The Darkest Hour? Yes, I have. I mean, I love the character of Churchill. Churchill. <laughs> Very important. And as an actor, I wouldn't have minded playing him. A Scottish egg is an English thing, a Scottish thing, a Scotch egg. Well, the word Scotch is not used in Scotland apart from something you drink, Scotch whiskey. But it's an old-fashioned term. <coughs> For instance, if there's a place called Carlisle or Carlisle, uh, just over the border from Scotland, the first city you'd come to in the West. And Carlisle has been in Scotland at times. I used to work in Carlisle. I know it very, very well. And um, it's got Scotch Street and it's got its own castle. And Bonnie Prince Charlie stopped at Carlisle and slept. I think he may have slept in Scotch Street. There's a house in the centre of Carlisle. Bonnie Prince Charlie slept in. I know that. Dinky do. Uh, he certainly was not the ultimate leader in my view since Lahoub. You love Dev, that's your trouble, Lahoub. You know, you actually love Dev secretly. What are your pronouns? Kairu. We never ever do any of that nonsense on here because we're all inclusive. That's old fashioned divisive stuff. We are all inclusive on here. We don't need pronouns. And my, my nouns are Scotty McClure. Give me my nouns. Uh, what does float I stand for? It stands for first lord of the internet. Yes, indeed. I am the first lord of the internet. Scotty, what's your favorite food? Anything edible, Philip? There we are. I said, had some beautiful fish the other day. Haggis is amazing. I love it, says uh, Susie Babe. First lord of the internet. First lord of the internet. Thank you, Susie Babe. What do you think of Winston Churchill? Well, we've just done that one. So that's that. I think my skin do is of World War I origin. Did they carry them into battle? Yes, they would, Geodog. See, they had interesting additions to kilted um, soldiers in World War I. They had kilt aprons, you know, and they had chevrons that we wore like rosettes of battle honours on your kilt. 
and uh, they had kilt aprons because of the filth in the psalm. The lice got into the pleats and they had to run a candle up their pleats to kill off the lice. These sort of things. Uh, they would carry the ski and do, because you see, even Colin Mitchell in 1968, when they were in Aden in the Middle East, said to his men of the Argyles, the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders, who had to impose law because it was a lawless part of the world and still is. And Colin said, if you, you know, you have a problem with your gun, go in with the bayonet. You see? But uh, the ski and do, you'll know the origin of Geodog. You had the two handed sword, the claymore. You had the dirk, and you had the ski and do. The dirk was worn round your belt. Your sword would be carried in your belt, but the two hander, you had to use two hands to slice the heed off your enemy. Sorry if somebody's having a late plate of wheat bangs, but that was what you had to do. And uh, the two hands sword, and then if he was still having a go at you, once he'd lost the heed, you could pull out the duck and disembowel him, the duck. But if he got your sword off you and your duck off you, you had the wee black knife doing the sock just for the last one, right into the heart. And that's how these old Highlanders did it. Yes, it did. Scotty, can you remember the pub in the old M74? I lived there. Yes, I do, Susie Babe. When you're seeing the pub in the old M74, are you talking just out of Carlisle? That one in there. I respect Dev, Scotty, but unfortunately I do not love him. Due to his treatment of Collins. Ah, Lahoub, have you been told that's the way he treated Collins? Or did he treat Collins that way? That's what I'm wanting you to find out. Uh, thank you for the history lesson. Adam, no, the stacks of it. <coughs> I'm effectively a historian. Love Scottish smoked salmon. Guys, I'm going to have to go. It's been such a privilege and a joy being with you all this morning on this live. I love you guys. You are amazing. <coughs> thank you so much for all your support. Join me on Getter, G-E-T-T-R. Join me on Twitter, at Scotty McClue. Join me on YouTube, the Scott McClure YouTube channel. You'll see the URL right in front of you. Join me on uh, Facebook if you want to. Join me on Reddit, Scotty underscore McClue. Join me on Instagram. You'll get me on there as well, Scotty McClue one. Fantastic. Guys, it's been an absolute blast. I love you. We'll catch up soon. Dinky doo from Scotty McClue. Shall I sing you the goodbye song? Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, a vita zain, au revoir, and a cheerio. Love you, my friends. Dinky-doo.